his production, awesome. I mean, he got it going on. There's always people like dancing and flowing and getting down with goo. <laughs> it's very exciting. If Dr. Goo is the DJ, you know it's popping. If you hit up the Valley's nightlife long enough, you'll inevitably wind up at an event that's being DJed by Brandon Martin, also known as Dr. Goo. So I've been making music for a while, like since I was 13, 14. Right now I do uh, electronic dance music, dubstep, trap, basically music made electronically for DJs to play. Years ago, Martin was looking for a unique name while performing in a dance group. It wound up being a spelling mistake of all things that would give him his well-known moniker. No, I'm gonna be Dr. Groove. So like, I'm writing my name, uh, Dr. Groove, and he's erasing it and I'm writing it again. He's erasing it and I write it again. And so like, I'm writing it and trying to write it really fast. And so then I ended up spelling it D-R, G-O-O-V-E without the R and he erases the V-E and he says you should go by Dr. Goo and I was like I will. Martin started DJing in 2012. The Lemon Grove is always was a uh, big place that I used to do a lot of things at. First show that I did that wasn't at the Lemon Grove uh, was at the Oakland and uh, maybe five people went to it. <laughs> That was about five years ago. Flash forward, the next few shows I've done in Youngstown have had well over 100 people. His tools of the trade include good speakers, lights, a computer, and of course, music. Making sure that your equipment works, especially computers. Computers are very uh, delicate things. One day your computer is like up and fine, and then the next day your computer is like blue screening all the time. Cell phones and YouTube and everything. I don't think people quite understand the process that goes into like having an extensive library. Uh, I pay $20 a month so that I can have as much music as I do. So weddings is sort of like what pays the bills right now. I definitely want to do more EDM stuff. Like that is my end goal is to hopefully tour. Martin also produces his own songs, which he says is completely different from DJing. I feel like DJing is, all, is very utilitarian, whereas like music's a lot more artistic. <laughs> There's like reading crowds and all of that that goes into DJing. Making a song is a lot more uh, time signatures and mastering mixing, uh, which is a totally different mixing, like trying to figure out which instruments sound good with other instruments, especially the EDM, making EDM music. Martin plays regular gigs in Cleveland, Pennsylvania, Akron, and Columbus. Currently, you can find Dr. Goo at events like Flow Night at the Federal and Krakatoa. But when they ask what Flow Night is, is that it's basically a night for people to come out and dance, uh, primarily to like electronic dance music. You must practice your fun it's for people to express themselves to da with dance with, with flow items like hoops and poi and staffs and glow up, light up, LEDs and all kinds of cool fun stuff. And it, you know, it's pretty much just a performance art like any other performance art. I come here because this is the coolest hangout in all of Bourbon. I met Dr. Goo um, through the Flow Syndicate, Tom Misney, he runs that, and Goo did a shows with them, and then I did my first show with Flow Syndicate, so I did a show with Goo. Dr. Goo got me started with this. He gave me my first show, actually here at Krakatoa, uh, back in December. Uh, he's a producer himself, he's been doing it for like 15 plus years, and I just, I like what he does, you know, I spin a lot of the same sound that he does. So we just, we got along immediately. Like I've just followed him through all of his shows and everything, especially at Thursdays in Akron, Ohio. Largely, a lot of people just message me on Facebook. They might have seen me at, at a different place or uh, their friends. They have friends who, who work at these places. Maybe every week there's probably about two or three people who want me for like a party. There's Beatport, Beatport, which is important. I release music through Grimy Grooves, which is also a Youngstown-based uh, electronic dance music label. Number one seller of electronic music. And uh, SoundCloud, which is uh, soundcloud.com slash Dr.